And it's an assignment. It's more than a website, it's a movement. And the mission is the empowerment of our community. We're here with the one and only Terrence Dixon of Terra Cafe. Terrence, I, I have to pass the ball and allow you to share your thoughts. We've just come back from the Green Street Academy, formerly West Baltimore Middle, and I'm just I'm just amazing. overflowing. It's, I'm amazed. Amazing. Tell them what you saw. I saw basically a confirmation that so many folks that have been out here speaking about the quality of education for our kids, that the city needs to do better, that they have to do better, and that they can do better, we've seen it come to fruition today. Somebody's been and failing us and somebody, lying to us. They've been lying. The experts are not experts us. at all. because well, They've been stealing. They've been stealing from our kids. And when you steal from our kids, you steal from our community. What do you mean they've been stealing? They've been stealing. Holding the, the back. Education, Holding out and the position and the things that they're supposed to provide for our kids. A good education, an opportunity to brighten their horizon in their mind of what they can do, to make things that they feel as though that are not tangible, tangible. And we've seen it today. We've seen somebody that put together a program at this school that dealt with hoop house, organic gardening, telling them how they can do, using math, using science. Entrepreneurship. We've seen entrepreneurship. We've seen them raising tilapia in the basement that will go out and be sold to restaurants. Once again, just, just sharing with our kids the, the different things that they can do in life. Why did I leave there with the impression that somebody's been holding out on our young people? Someone has been pretending to know about what our young people need. And, and I'm talking about black elected officials black elected as elected well as white ones. Somebody's exactly. been lying to the people of Baltimore. Well, you, you know what, when you leave there, you have a feeling that, you know what, Baltimore City School System has basically been building our kids for their system. And this was- You mean prison system? Prison system. Put the whole word out there, prison system. Prison industrial complex. Exactly. Whether or not they get them when they're young or whether or not they get them when they're a little bit older. All right, but we've seen today that what happens when you build a system for the kids, all right, the way it should be, adapt to what our kids need today, give them a vision, give them dreams. You know, went in there, and, and young kids are saying, I asked the question, I said, what college are you going to? Morgan. What college are you going to? Morgan. What college are you going to? John Hopkins. All right, they had an idea, and this is coming from middle school kids, that they have the aspirations that they want to be better today. All right, not at the last minute. I'm going to have to go back to that school through. and put some of my time in there, man. I'm so inspired by the young, the young people and, and, and young boys young talking boys. about college. Powerful. You know that men lead our communities. Yes. All right. That's the way God designed it. That's where it's got to go down. All right. And as long as we continue to not nurture and grow our young men, we're definitely not on a Respectful. Respect. I went to Lamel, bro. I know what a what a junior high school, middle school can sound like. Quiet. And you want to know what? Kids will be kids. As we were leaving, one of the things that I seen, I seen three young brothers run around the corner with kids play. But soon as they saw that there were adults present, they got into their respectful mode, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Respect. Our kids will grow up, and they will be kids. But if we teach them how to be men. When it's time for them to actually take the torch, they will be able to deal with it the way that it's supposed to be. Because you got grown men out here that our society is taught to be like, act like kids. All right. It's time to take our community back. And as this election year comes around, all right, as you hear more about politicians doing things and not doing things, get involved. All right. They work for us. We don't work for them. And somebody has not passed that email around. All right. They work they're, for us. They're civil servants, mm -hmm. not politicians. Certainly not lifelong. Not at all. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. The one and only Terrence Dixon. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth.